I'm here with one of the Hemonetics experts and we're going to look at this tech machine. He's just organizing to go back. Um, yeah, go for it. Yeah. So this is the home screen once you've logged in yeah. with the tech success. Yeah. Um, obviously the quality control is run by your blood bank. So yeah. the new test is on the top left there. Yeah. Stored test is the ones that in stored chronological order. But we're going to a new test here. Yeah. Now the blue actually is highlighting which person or patient you're going to be testing. Yeah. So if you've already tested them, you could just sort of highlight that and then go next. Yeah. But in this case, we're adding a new patient, yeah. so we go plus. Yeah. And this is where you would um, put in their UR number. Yeah. Uh, you can either barcode scan that, which I think you do here, don't you? Yeah, so, we do barcode, yeah. So if I just put in, say, test, and then we go um, OK. Yep. And you can see there it's come up. That's the patient that you want to. Yep. It's just saying to you, is this the right patient you want to test? Yep. So you just go next. Um, now with the cartridges, of course, you've got two. And uh, remember, very importantly, when you're using a citrated global hemostasis, it's very important that you use um, a citrated sample or you'll waste the cartridge if you use a heparinized blood yeah. gas syringe. And vice versa with the platelet mapping, uh, which is not used as much at Marta, but you must use a heparinized sample. That's very important, or else vice versa, you also get flat line traces. So just to confirm, yeah. the blue is the citrated one? Yes. And yeah. the heparinized is the... Yep, yeah. exactly. They're Pretty from nice. Sarsted, so they're not hemonetics but they're they're ones that we like because they dribble straight into yeah. the cartridge from the art line so or the venous like line a, a vacuum tainer kind of principle so you need to pull the plunger maximum and let it yeah. fill to where it wants to go correct so um that you can see opens up the rubber bung yeah. so that green pin opens yeah. the rubber bung you just push that on and twist it and that locks it in place yeah so you would then draw that straight off the um, bung or the tap on your outline yeah. or off a venous line. Yeah. So it can be a venous or arterial yeah. sample, yeah. it doesn't actually matter. But make sure with these that you just hold them right to the end and don't pull it too hard or else it'll lock. Yeah. So, and that will mean you'll squirt blood out. So just draw it back the full way. Yeah. And you must actually have that 1.4 mils, yeah. which is shown there. And the reason for that is you have one part citrate to nine parts blood, okay? Yeah. Which is very important. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and then obviously just agitate that before you're gonna be putting it in the cartridge. So here we are, we've got our sample now. Yeah. We've got the cartridge. And if you remember the sample well is here, so, or you can remember it by the black strip, which is showing you there on the screen. So you just simply push that in until you feel resistance. And what the device is doing now is it's going to identify which cartridge you've actually given it. Because we've got, you know, quality control, we've got plate mapping, and we've got global hemostasis. So it's barcode scanning the cartridge. And um, if it was expired, by the way, it would let you know at this point to go and get another one, so which is quite handy. And the other very important thing is here, you can see you're actually getting confirmation of the sample type. So if you're standing here with a blood gas syringe, obviously you need to go and resample. So um, in this case, we just go next. So it's confirmed it's a global hemostasis cartridge. And in this, this is really whatever test information you want to put in about the patient. So let's just say put um, post op bleed. Okay, so you're just determining whatever the doctor or the nurse wants to put in about this patient. And just hit next. Now this is where, remember, you don't put the uh, sample in first, you put it in at this point, so always watch the screen. Yeah. And again, it's just telling you now to put, so this is where you would simply take this S-monovet, 
Don't push it too far in because you might displace blood, but just hold it at the top and literally just drop, drop, push that blood in, sample in there. Okay. And you need to make sure at least to the, the white line and we say fill it to the top of the window. So that's 320 microliters to the mark, or it's about point, yeah, just, just under 0.4 for the top of the window. So you've got plenty in your sample. Uh, collection that's 1.4 so then you would just go next we won't do that because there's no sample there yeah but it will then basically draw the sample through into these mixing it with the ray agents here yeah. and then they get drawn through into the hanging drop area we call it yeah. and that's actually where you get the clotting process occurring and the noise that you'll hear when the tag is running is actually a, a resonant frequency that pings these. Yeah. And it shows what the movement in the quad is looking like. So as that changes, yeah. the traces are created on the tag right. device. And so I believe then when you look at your tag <coughs> manager's screen, you're following mm -hmm. the clotting, the yeah. four so different tests have four different quads. Yeah. That's, that's what you would see in the theatre screen. Yeah. So you would have um, the, the color-coded uh, each um, channel that you're looking at. Yeah. So CK and CKH are looking at the clotting time. Yeah. CRT and CFF is looking at your clot strength related to platelets and fibrinogen. So we tend to match those two channels. Yeah. And um, coming to this is going to be the um, interpretation guidance where there will be um, a message if the tag results out it will actually give you a message on the screen in tag manager uh, not on on the device it will only be on tag manager and that will tell the doctor here's a recommendation from the algorithm beautiful thanks very much for running us okay. through and just to no um, finish with that um, the online e-learning systems has three free courses provided by humanetics that anyone mm -hmm. can do how yeah. to interpret, how to um, actually operate, and yeah, so that's another option for you. Right. Yeah, thank you.